Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today in the One Stamp at a Time blog hop, our theme is vintage. And when I was thinking vintage, I'm thinking old, weathered, and I have this stamp set, Country Living, which I absolutely love. And um, I just love these images. And I decided to make this card with the vintage theme because cowboys and old, it just reminds me of vintage. I think the lace kind of plays in there a little bit too. And I also made this little crate and filled it with um, lint Lindor truffles. So a cute little gift as a thank you card. You could easily change the greeting to a birthday and give this as a gift for somebody's birthday too. So I'm going to show you some watercoloring tips and some other tips on how to make this card. Let's get started. Alrighty, here are our cardstock layers. We have a layer of four and a quarter by 11. I've got that scored at five and a half. Very Vanilla is four by five and a quarter, and this is for the inside of our card. Then I've got the Wood Textures Designer Series Paper Stack. This is five and a quarter by four, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show that to you because it is so gorgeous. This is all I have left of the whitewash one, so obviously that's a favorite of mine. But, oh, look, I do have one whole sheet left. Isn't that cool? That's very vintage looking. But look at all this amazing paper. These are really cool. Oh, love them. Okay, let's flip through that again. Lots of barn boards, old looking barn boards, some really neat wood patterns. Then I have cut out from the stitched shape framelits, the largest circle in very vanilla. And then I use my layering circles and cut out this, this oval and that's cut out of the largest oval in here. Then I've got a couple scraps, dapper denim and very vanilla. And then this is for our little banner. I've got this at half an inch by about three and five-eighths of an inch by about three. We're gonna cut these off, so the length of them doesn't matter, just the width is important. All right, let's get started on this card. I'm gonna do a little watercoloring with our new watercolor pencils. So I really haven't done anything with them for you guys yet because they were on back order for a little while so I wanted to wait because it's so frustrating to not be able to get stuff when you want it right I know I'm kind of I want it yesterday but look at this beautiful rainbow of colors the neat thing about these watercolor pencils is that they come in stampin up shades so that means that you know this is early espresso and we've got melon mambo and rich razzleberry and old olives so these are actual stampin up colors it also comes with a white and a black which is very nice to have i am stamping my cowboy boots in early espresso ink and i'm just going to put those right kind of a little bit off to the left on this layer then my, i'm going to bring in this early espresso pencil and what I like to do is I like to color in dark where I want lots of shading. So you see Stampin' Up! has already put some shade marks in here. And that's a great guide to help you know where you need to color darker with your watercolor pencils. And that's all I'm doing is just making some lines here where Stampin' Up! has theirs. little hash lines make them darker and you notice this is kind of pretty messy looking I'm gonna do some down here too I like some shading underneath my images makes you look like an artist and now I'm just gonna go through and scribble on my boots and isn't that crazy you're like Kelly what are you doing okay here comes the magic I like to go around and do my darker parts first. Blend those a little bit. All these little dark spots that we did. There we go, and now we're just gonna color our boots in. 
all these scribble marks are going to go away. Might need to squeeze a little bit more water into our, your aqua painter. I have a tissue here to wipe it off because I don't like a lot of water. I just find it works better for me if I don't have a ton of water in it. Okay, and here comes the ground. Again, I'm just kind of scribbling down here. How cool does that look? Do I look like an artist? I'm not really. The other item that I did a little water coloring with is, again, I'm using Early Espresso ink and I put the guitar on the inside of my card. So I'm just gonna go through, color that, and I'm just making this inside darker, and again, the hash marks. And now I'm just gonna scribble. And I like to have that ground again so my guitar doesn't look like it's just hanging in midair like it's a magic show. This is a vintage card, <laughs> not, not wanting any quirks or weird things going on with it. And here we go. I gotta get some more water out here. I like to do it on my hands so I can feel how much water is coming out of my aqua painter. Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay, let's put this card together. I've got a couple more things to show you that are helpful. Here goes the inside. Oops, I got that kind of crooked. So I love the glue. I can slide it a little bit and straighten it out. And then this is gonna go on to the scalloped oval. Dapper denim. And I'm going to now glue this right onto the front of my card. And I'm only putting glue on this one side because I don't want glue all over my scissors when I cut this side off. And I just think that's kind of a neat look. You take your scissors and just trim that right off of there. Doesn't this look cool on that wood background? Love it. All right, now for our words. I'm using the One Big Meaning stamp set. I like this one. I'm using the Little Thanks. It's got some great thank you greetings in it. There we go. Yay, I'm winning today. I'm going to cut the banner end in here. A little slit in the middle, and then I come in from each corner. And I find that that just works really good for me. And here we go. I'm going to glue that onto my dapper denim layer. And trim that up now too. So that it matches. There we go. And have you seen these little dimensionals? These little buggers are adorable. You get like, I don't know, I think it's like 700 in a pack. They're great. I'm just gonna put a couple of those on the back to pop my greeting up. And then we're gonna put that right about here on our card. And again, from the back, I'm gonna trim this. So it matches, and then I've got my ribbon. So here's how I did my bow. I'm just going to take a stapler. Any stapler will work. And I'm going to staple my lace trim on here and tie a bow. like that. And I like to kind of have some long tails here for this card. And now we're going to put 
the front on, and then I get to go ta-da. So hang tight for the ta-da. Ta-da! I told you I'd do a ta-da. Isn't that just pretty? It's very, very pretty. Okay. Some tips about my crate. The crate is coming to us from the Wood Crate Framelits, and it's got all these nice images in it. All you do is cut your crate out and you fold down the fold lines and put it together. It's adorable. And I put another lace bow on the front and a little heart right on top of it with a mini glue dot. Love this vintage look. Cowboy boots and wood grain is vintage to me. So I hope you've enjoyed these projects. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above. I'd be happy to send you our current catalogs. You can go right to my blog and place an order if you need some of these supplies. That address is www.astampabove.com.